What's up guys, John here with my beautiful wife Sharice and Mr. Deke Warner, the man, the myth, the legend, 25 year anniversary, Mid Florida Classic. We're here, he put together this awesome event, even in all the COVID craziness, he came through. I'm telling you, these athletes, they're loving it. It's a beautiful, beautiful venue. So thank you. At that point, we appreciate being a sponsor, being a part of this thing. This is the 25th year anniversary of the Beer Park Classic, and we have some tremendous athletes that are in the show today. I tell you, I'm glad I'm not judging because it's just that tough. It's really tough. So uh, with that, we have a Halloween costume in a few minutes. They're gonna Contest. be judging. It's gonna be awesome. We'll see you soon. Oh yeah, so stay tuned. We're gonna have all this footage and a lot, lot more for you guys. Mid for the classic, 25 years, Halloween. Let's get it on. Orlando, are you ready? I want to welcome you to the 25th anniversary of Deep Warner's Mid Florida Classic. Can you see by the dawn's early light what? Hey, what's up, guys? John here, Sharif, Big Drew. And we are at the Mid Florida Classic. Well, it's Halloween, that's the night it fell on. So we decided we're gonna have a Halloween costume contest. You know who's gonna be the judges? Hi! That's right, Three Musketeers. That's right, Three <laughs> Musketeers rolling, controlling, and we're gonna judge this contest, see who brings out the best Halloween costumes. So I want you guys to stay tuned. We're gonna get some of these costumes for you guys to see. And we'll give you guys the results at the end. We decide. The participants come out. They're gonna do a 360. Make sure you guys yell and scream. You know, yell and scream. They're just gonna come out and show their outfits.
make the cutest by itself? I feel like there was a hat for this Yeah, I think it was good. Yeah. yeah. Three categories that we came up with. Those three categories are the sexiest, the most original, and overall, of course, you have to have. Halloween, October 31st. That means everybody should bring out their inner child and dress up as their favorite character or whatever they want. This is the one day of the year. It's totally acceptable for you to do so. So you girls want to wear that hot outfit outside? Go right ahead. You want to dress up as a superhero? Go right ahead. You want to dress up as somebody else? Go right ahead. It's totally up to you. So at this point, I hope you guys are having fun. We can even cheat and eat some candy today. So get excited, get ready. It's Halloween, and you know Titan's gonna do it right. It's Saturday night, and we get an extra hour. Forget about it. So stay tuned. We got a lot of great coverage. You guys are gonna just gonna. What are you up to, dude? You know, I make sure my shit laid right. You know, I always like to um condition about 45 minutes for the beard, but the hair. 145, I gotta keep it right. Kick that thing for at least a half an hour. <laughs> you know, type medical center head, super serum, huh? Titan 
Medical Center. Got the crew out here, Super Soldiers. I got my skeletons out here. We're representing Halloween night, Saturday night. And we get an extra hour. You guys better watch out this time. You're going to represent Hardcore tonight. So stay tuned for all the behind the scenes and more of the Vampire's Ball and Tight Medical Center, guys. Yeah. Woo! Great time, and I'm glad to be sharing it with these people right next to me. Yeah. And we got an extra hour. 
So guys, yes. we're happy you guys join us on this, this journey, you know, it's virtual or through the camera. Get ready, because we got a lot more events coming at you. TitanMedicalCenter.com, you guys check that out, and wait for all the new content that we got coming towards you guys. See you later. Thank you for coming to Halloween 17. What's up, guys? John here. And Cherise. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. So, another episode, more tips and tricks for you guys. I think these two topics that we're going to talk about today, um, they're going to go right along with what's going on today, right? In today's world, where things have changed dramatically, relationships have taken on a whole new uh, definition, I guess, of things that... <laughs> You know, that you might interact with, overcome, or have to deal with. Yep. So uh, I think these go right right along with that. So at that point, we want to give you guys these tips and tricks every week. That's why you guys are tuning in to Cupid's Corner with me and Cherise. And we want these to help you guys. I mean, that's ultimately what we're here to do. We're here to help you guys. We want to make sure that your guys' relationship is a success, not a failure. So maybe just taking in some of this information and utilizing it will set your relationship up with a long-lasting success. <laughs> so, let's get into the two topics for today. The first one, recognizing the stressors today in your relationship, right? So this is a good topic because there's a lot of different stressful things going on. A lot. Right? From COVID, the elections, all this crazy stuff um, that we have to deal with. Mm -hmm. But recognizing the stressors of your partner. Now, when we talk about this, you're going to say, well, John, wh what's the example of this, right? Mm -hmm. And the example that I want to give is this, is you have one partner, okay, and let's just say it's the guy who has to go out and work. He's an essential worker, so he has to go out and work. And then you have the other partner, let's say it's a female, who's doing all the domestic responsibilities and duties, staying at home, cleaning the house, making sure the kid is getting taught via online right. or, or making sure all these other things are accomplished, right? Um, two different situations, but both are very stressful or could be very stressful, mm -hmm. right? And partners, they sometimes forget about the stresses of those jobs because they might not be doing them or they might just forgot, hey, listen, that was a really hard thing to do or they have a lot on their plate. Or they haven't done it yet. That's so for true. instance, you know, if it's the guy, he didn't stay home with the kid to go through all their learning things and try to figure out how to keep them focused and all this stuff. So they may not understand like, oh wow, this is really stressful. You know, even though it seems like, oh, you're home with the kid all day. What, mm -hmm. what could you possibly doing? Are you eating mm -hmm. popcorn while he's, mm -hmm. you know, or he or she is having a good old time at school. <laughs> but you know, it doesn't work that way. No, <laughs> so there's obviously, these are two totally different things, right? But let's say the guy goes to his work, he has a lot of stress at his job, he's under a lot of pressure, to complete this task or or manage this project or whatever it may be so he's under a lot of stress from this he's getting stressed from corporate all this different stuff so he comes home he's stressed out right well his partner who's been domestic the whole time and she's doing her responsibilities and she might be stressed out listen she might be doing laundry kids might be running around crazy right she's pulling her hair out you could have two like, dogs like us that chase each other around the house stop, won't stop. they just won't stop barking they just <laughs> I, I I really do ask, like, if, you know, maybe we gave them some extra, extra, extra treats or yeah, something. Some sugar or something, right? <laughs> like, whoa, 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 relax, and they're just going crazy. It's little things like that. They got our ECA Stack Plus, all right? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. He okay. dropped the bottle on the right. ground. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be terrible. But, you know, you have two people that are stressed because two different situations are going on, right? But they don't really know about each other's stress, right? They're, they're just thinking, oh... He's going to his job every day. He gets to get out of the house. Or you have the, the guy who's like, oh, she just sits home all day. And she's just sitting there and just mm -hmm. eating bonbons, watching, you know, soap, or soap operas or, or, or whatever they are. <laughs> right? So they don't really understand that. Unless they really communicate. And that's what we talk about all the time is communication. Communication is key. Letting your partner know kind of what's going on, you know, when you're at your job or what's going on at home. So you guys can kind of talk about it, get on the same page. And support each other. Be receptive, please. Be receptive. And sometimes when we're under stress, you know, some people don't like to communicate. And that can cause a breakdown, a deterioration in the relationship and communication. 
and then you guys start you know being upset at each other and that can lead to fights and all these different things like you're not doing anything but sit your home you're not doing anything but going to work and you don't do anything at work so who cares uh, or you guys hang out with all your friends at work and right. I'm stuck here with the dog and the kids. Right. That'd so be me. It's just not true. <laughs> you know, and then I think when you communicate and you, you recognize these different stressors between you two, whatever the jobs may be, then you guy can get an understanding for it and then you can empathize for your partner. And the communication can create a stronger bond and you guys can talk about these things and then move past the problems. It's not even that though, honestly, because I used to do this with John and I still do to this day. But don't just empathize open up and be like all right put your stuff aside for two seconds okay whatever it is that your problem is whether it's the kids or your job or your project or whatever it is and ask your significant other and say hey listen all right so talk to me i always say that to him i'll be like all right all right obviously you're upset all right talk to me like what's going on you know and let them talk to you and let them vent let them vent let them yell vent be upset let them get it out because a lot of times if you just get it out you'll feel better and let them be the person you're you want to be that person that they come to to do that with but sometimes you got to ask like all right talk to me talk to me talk to me sometimes i used to badger him and be like tell me 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 and then he'd be like <sighs> can i just get five minutes without you bothering me do i need to go into the bathroom or something <laughs> but he would eventually tell me but i would always ask because i'd want to know if you genuinely want to know and you genuinely want to try to make it better because hey listen you might come across something where you're like oh wait a minute we can actually open up two tabs on your internet explorer that would make it so much easier for the kid to do this and that but you wouldn't have known that unless you guys had a discussion so that's just an example or hey you didn't realize i can order this dog pin and we could put the dogs in the pin for a couple hours and they won't bother each other little things like this you know just an example you know so help your partner out <laughs> empathize right listen be there for them and i think that will help out your relationship tremendously mm -hmm. and if there's a lot of stressors you guys need to de-stress which gets us to our next topic that we'll go right along with this make time for fun <laughs> okay between you two as a couple whether you got kids you got dogs you're taking care of your parents you got these jobs you got to do and you're like oh my god like it's so hard to find time to be with each other and have fun mm -hmm. you have to set these things or this time aside so you guys can actually have this fun if you guys are schedule oriented then you guys can schedule it you guys can say listen saturday night we're going to go out, you know, we're going to get a babysitter. We'll have our parents come over or we don't have kids or dogs. We can go out and do this, um, put all our work aside, put all the domestic responsibilities aside and just go out and have fun. Enjoy each other's company, mm -hmm. right? And, and this is really, really, you know, this rings true in all relationships, whether you are married or you're not married or whatever it is. Um, usually, you know, we're all working these days, right? And even if you're working at home or you're working at your job, you know, your significant other, you guys have to find that time, whether it's on the weekend or a Friday night or Thursday night. It could or, be any time. It could be whatever it is. Yeah. You know, with me and Sharice, for example, we used to go to the movies every Thursday. Mm. Obviously, we can't right now because there's no new movies coming there's out. no new movies. Right? It's pretty bad when you can go to AMC <laughs> and rent out an entire theater for $100. Oh, wow, yeah. It's right? kind of crazy. I'm used to spending $100 on her, Peter, and the tickets, and all the food, and all the garbage <laughs> adding up. Now, it's like nothing. Like It's a little like ghost town, right? So. Okay. When you're setting this time aside, make sure it's going to be fun for both of both you guys. Both of you, Not yep. just one. Because, yep. I mean... You know, like, hey, honey, we're going to go golfing, all right? <laughs> right? But I'll buy you a beer. Don't worry. You can be my caddy, you know? <laughs> you know don't worry about that. You can get my clubs. You know, it'll be yeah, real yeah. fun. I'm going to teach you this game. I promise. It's a game. It's a game. We're going to have fun. <laughs> that would be so messed up. <laughs> yeah. You know, some couples might like to do that together, though, because they might enjoy golfing together, exactly. right? Exactly. But, you know, usually couples, they want to go out and have fun and, and not have something to think about or have to be so serious about. You know, for example, right? This last Saturday was so much fun. Halloween, Saturday night. Okay, so that's great. Now, me and Sharice, we dress up every year. Now, this year, obviously, Peter has to go trick or treat. He's 11 years old last year. Whoa. But after that, you guys go out and have fun. Yep. Okay, you guys can go to a Halloween party. Or you guys can dress up. You guys can go, you know, on a romantic date or whatever it may be. So this weekend, we got to go out 
Saturday, we were Captain America and Miss Captain America. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we had this set up. So we, we got to go to this big Halloween party. It was outside, so we were safe there, and everything was good. We got to listen to music. We got to dance. You know, not thinking about anything serious. Just thinking about having fun with each other and enjoying mm -hmm. each other's time. You know, I mean, that's really what it's about. I mean, coming back to those key components that made you guys as strong as you were and having fun. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that will or possibly might evolve in what you guys are doing too as well. You guys might, you know, enjoy new hobbies that you may never have liked before. Mm -hmm. Or you might just go back to those simple things like a movie, if we can ever get movies back, <laughs> or going dancing somewhere, yeah, right? Yeah, that's, that's our favorite. You're going dancing a million different places. So... There's just certain things you, you're going to want to do, but definitely set aside time for you guys to have fun. And that could be outside, could be inside, whatever you guys want. It doesn't matter how many years you guys have been together. Because right. I, feel, I feel like as the years go on, people forget that they need time for each other too. Yeah. And sometimes they'll, you know, invite friends out and, yep. you know, then they forget that it's supposed to be just their night. That's important. That we'll happens. save that for another, that an, another episode. But... Me and John, we invited friends out, but we also went to dinner in between our event mm -hmm. and our next event. Mm -hmm. So we went to dinner by ourselves mm -hmm. at Eddie V's, my favorite restaurant. <laughs> um, but we went there and we had dinner all by ourselves. Yep. So, and then we still had a good time when we went out. Absolutely. But you see how it's still allocated that time frame just for you guys. And you could still meet friends out. You can go yeah. one place together and then meet friends out at the next place Literally. if you guys want to do that. Or go have dinner beforehand and then go out with friends afterwards. Yeah. And that yeah. way you guys can enjoy each other's company on the exact same night and then go out and socialize with friends that you have. Yep. So you're getting a lot of social interactions right now with the pandemic and all that good stuff people want you know they want interaction like personal interaction i think with their friends or with their family or their loved ones or whatever it is you know we need that as, as humans so i mean that's how we were brought up and at that point it will help you guys' relationship as well plus you guys create great memories together which entail will help you guys bond possibly even more than what you guys are at right now so these are just two more awesome tips and tricks for you guys to take in consideration using your relationship utilize this information to make your relationship almost unbreakable or as unbreakable as you possibly can stepping it up to the best level you guys can you know so that's why we're here cupid's corner every sunday right 11 a.m on our tight medical health and lifestyle show we appreciate guys all tuning in and we got a ton of more tips and tricks for you guys coming this Sunday and every other Sunday afterwards. So keep it locked to Titan. Me and Sharice, we're coming at you guys. Cupid's Corner. See you then.